I think I'll have a banana for breakfast. That sounds good, actually. It has potassium. Really good for... health. Plus, I'm not really a big breakfast guy. For lunch, I'll probably have a, a huge basket of french fries with salt and lots of ketchup. Maybe cheese fries. I haven't said anything lately about what's been going on with me because I've been working on music and practicing dancing. I am attempting to get some songs out there. You know, my own songs, you know, eventually. Um, but as for the gang stalking world, I, I, anyone that's familiar with my channel, I don't even know because they, they hold the channel back from being viewed by regular people. It's hard to find. I, I, I tried searching it on other computers. Couldn't find it anywhere. Mm -hmm. But I mentioned two years ago, two military men from the condos trying to sneak in my back window at one o'clock in the morning to murder me and my brother in our sleep. My brother would stay the night. And when I called the San Diego Police Department, a voice hacks in the 911 phone call and says, no one's going to help you. We're coming to get you tonight. You're you're done. Basically, we're going to we're going to get you. And my brother heard that as the phone's ringing to 911, right? So, they came out, said there was nobody back there, cops left, and then right after that, the perpetrator runs from the backyard out to the street. And then there was like rice material in my apartment, and when I found it moving around, I said, it's coming from those condos, those people there are creepy. Huge guys in suits came running down to the platform, panicking. All right, remember? Okay, if, if you do. But if you don't, that's what happened. And there's a lot more than that. A lot more than that. Let's put it that way. Organ, organ trafficking, just a lot more stuff. From a friend named Lisa that was died of a mysterious heart attack. She was an organ donor. But what's happening lately, last three months, is I was being followed by military men on the weekends. A lot of them. Hundreds of them. And it, one day it was military men and people that looked like gang members, gang members, you know, dressed up in the baggy pants and the white t-shirts, cholos and, 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 uh, you know, but, but they have real nice cars. A lot of them have nice, like nice Novas and Mustangs and Corvettes. And I believe me, it's a taxpayer's expense plus crime, but they, they would follow me when I try to go to church they'd follow me. Like they'd be waving at each other, pull up in front of me, putting their hazards on pointing over at me, whatever, laughing, just, just told, you could totally tell. My friend was with me last weekend. He saw it. He freaked out. He never seen anything like it. But this is what I've been going through. And I didn't stop making videos because I'm afraid. It's because I'm trying to move on to something else. Every time I try to stop, they won't let me stop. They want us. I, I, I'm like, I'm like 100% sure now they want us to go to the public. That's why they're doing that. Because when you stop and they start bothering you, like, hey, wait, 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 don't, don't slow down. Get out there, you know? So uh, that's what's been going on for me, with me. And I, and like I said before, oh, and the people that are fixing up the house next door to us, I tell you, the, the workers, that the, the dude said, you ever been, you know what a gangbang is, homie? We're going to gangbang you, homie. That dude. Well, they got quiet for a while. Then yesterday, one of the workers was right below my window, like yelling and cussing and cursing. So, uh, uh, yeah, so I have been concerned for my family. I've been concerned for me. And like I said, you know, at any time, because I, I feel threatened, I have everyone out there, We all of us have a legal right and a moral right to defend yourself. If you think you're going to get hurt or murdered or your family, you have a right to defend yourself. This is, uh, it went from the police that covered it up, from the military men try, trying to kill me, to them reaching out to their operatives that dress like thugs to try and throw everything off. But it is what it is. They're all connected. They're not real gang members. Gang members don't work for cops. No, 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 no. Gang members don't work for cops. Now, if I ever die in a mysterious, like, like say, a, they say a drug deal that went wrong or something, I guarantee you, I, I guarantee you it's a lie. They will make your character look bad. They have to. Because 
there's all this evidence of hardcore crime that I got. They will either kill you, make you look corrupt, or disappear you. I have no plans to break the law, to vanish, or suicide anytime in the near, near, near future, as in next 10 years, for sure. We all know about the, what they call it, it's uh, geoengineering, and we'll say it that way. We'll, we'll, we'll keep it, we'll tone it down, keep it toned down. And about uh, all the conspiracy stuff. Well, that's what they do. They have these people that look like gang members. Now, we're no, you're not being followed by the government. It's gang members. You're a gang member now. You, you piss somebody off on a crack cocaine deal. That, that was it. That's what it was. Hmm. And, you know, you had $20. No, no, no. You had $500. No, wait. You had a million dollars worth of illegal substances in your car. Right. Anyone that knows me would know that was a total, total BS story. So never, ever, ever, if you ever hear anything strange about me, don't ever, ever believe it. I'm a truther. And what we do is we uncover crimes, hardcore crimes the government commits. We expose them and we tell the public about them. And they consider me real legally dangerous because I go door to door. I was a door to door salesman for 15 years. I know how to go door to door and just tell people. And I know how to, I have all kinds of physical evidence on top of that. They don't like me. But here's the funny thing. I stopped. And they started bothering me again. They just started bothering me again. I think they want us to tell. I, re- I really do. I'm not trying to be sarcastic. I'm sorry. I, you know what? I even told my friend the other day, maybe they're really angels. And they want us to participate. Because when you stop, they start pushing you back out there. You know? I've done many years of the truth or thing. I like six, seven years. I'm burnt. You know, I really just wanted to do my own thing. I wasn't, I wasn't, I, I had, I was forgetting about them. I had moved on to greener pastures, but they had to come back in again and wake me up again, nudge me again. So yeah, what else you got? You know, and I got a lot. So, like I said, all in good time. Everything happens at once. When it happens, it'll all be at one time. So far. I mean, plan could change. Anyways, Anthony Orion, reporting for the Droker 3121 channel on YouTube. Thanks for watching. And I, I never stopped. I just took a break. Okay, actually, I was planning to stop. But they won't let me anyway. So, there you go. So, um, remember, they like to make your character look bad disappear you or kill you. They have to. They're never going to say, yeah, we're hardcore criminals. Please come and arrest us and take away our powerful positions. They can't. How can they get How can they get a one world order if you take them out of their powerful position? And we're talking about this stuff. This stuff goes far on up. We're talking about congressmen, people that run the government at the top. You know, So they, they get their lower minions to keep us busy and try to sidetrack us. Like, oh, he was a gang member. That's what it was. Anthony O'Ryan was a gang member and his drug deal went wrong. That's all it was. He had nothing to see. Everything he said was a lie. He was lying. Even though I have the proof, physical proof. I mean, even though I have physical proof. I wouldn't say anything unless I can physically prove it. There are non-humans among us people. That's all there is to it. I've seen it. And I can prove it. And Basil Church and the Anchor and other churches can prove it too. There's people inside the churches that can prove it in San Diego. Trying to think of some other names. Anyways, that was never the plan. Basically, it's just like, you know, just leave me alone. That's all. That was the plan for you to just go get your own life. Let me live my life.